there's a stark difference between what you think you are and what people see of you, right? So for me, I've got an internal view of what I feel like I am. I'm, you know, I've got certain personality characteristics. I think that I come across in a certain way and I think that people perceive me a certain way and all of that sort of stuff. But the reality isn't what I think it is, right? How I think I'm being perceived and how I'm actually being perceived are two distinctly different things. And this, this is important because when you, when you get comments or people talking to you or saying, hey, you know, when I first met you, I thought this, or, you know, I didn't realize you were like that or anything like that. It sort of really puts into context what people actually think of you as opposed to what you think they think of you. Now, obviously the side note is, is, you know, do you and be you and make sure that you're not sort of changing yourself for other people. But the reason I'm addressing this is more that if, if you're trying to come across in a certain way, if you're trying to do certain things, you may need to have a little bit of a check, i.e. step back and ask people, ask yourself, look at it from an objective perspective. You might think you're coming across in a certain way, but how are you actually being perceived? What are your actions actually doing? What are your words actually coming out of your mouth? Not what you're thinking, not what you're feeling, anything like that, what's actually happening? What behaviors are you projecting and what consequences are those behaviors having? A perfect example for me, and you know, there's more in my social life and stuff, but I don't wanna like, you know, give names or give examples in that because it's unfair on those people. But with my son, we're playing a game, we're playing a game, and then all of a sudden, he gets a little bit scared and he sort of pulls back, right? Because maybe I've gotten a little bit too excited for him or the game's gotten a little bit rough or it's gotten a little bit too noisy or something, you know, he's two and a half, right? So it's hard, hard to, you know, for us to connect with each other perfectly, yeah? And I'm playing, I'm playing, and then all of a sudden, I realise that he's sort of a bit shying away or he's making some sounds that indicate he's a bit scared. Now, obviously, he was feeling a bit that way before those sounds came along and you know, the more I'm with him and the more I get to know him and the more we get to know each other, the more we can sort of see each other's moods and emotions and respond accordingly. But when I realise it, I'm always like, oh, I'm always like sort of shocked at myself. I'm like, far out. I didn't realise that that's how I was coming across to him. I didn't want to come across in a way that was scary. I thought we were playing a game and we were up until a point and then it just crossed that line for him. So when I realize that, I now have to step back and go, okay, well, I'm no longer being perceived that way by my son. Now he's feeling this, so now I need to adjust. So I like to apply that same logic in my social life, in my relationships, in my work life. How am I being actually perceived? Is it, the, is it what I'm wanting to intend? Or am I living in this delusional world of going, well, I'm this and they think that. Well, actually they don't. So how can I know that? Well, you know that by people's actions back? Are you being invited places? Are you being spoken to? How are they talking to you? What tone of voice are they using? Are, are, they, are they avoiding you? Are they engaging with you? What's happening? What's actually happening? What you think's happening? What is actually happening in reality? This is just something to consider, something that's sort of been highlighted to me in, in a few different areas. For example, with my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, my martial arts, I've realized that I've been going a bit hard on some people and um, they mentioned it to me and I'm like, oh shit, I didn't even realize. And I didn't realize because they weren't letting me know or perhaps because I wasn't paying enough attention or a couple of other reasons. But now that I've been told, now that I know, now I can change it to do what I want to do. Now, if I was wanting to go hard and they told me I was going hard, then I've just confirmed that I am being perceived the way I want to be perceived. But if they told me something that goes against what I was wanting or what I was thinking, then I have the option and I should make change. Make sense? If you like these videos, please like, share and subscribe and just comment below with your comments because it just gives me stuff to talk to, gets a bit of engagement and it allows me to make videos that are more directly supporting what you want to be hearing. Have a good one, guys.